Must be 10 o'clock. Hi, good evening, and welcome back to Between the Sheets. My name is Anil. Uh, it's not the best time for me to do a show, but then I'm a, as they call, I'm a showman. Right? The show must go on, no matter what. So here I am. Here I am. Doing my show. This is not... Mera saath nahi de raha, mera nose. So I don't know how this is making me sound, but I feel terrible. Which means I can't really talk much. Okay? I can't talk much. <laughs> so I need your help. Are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? Do my show. Or are you going to leave it to me? To suffer in silence. Are you going to just enjoy yourself? Watching me suffer. Huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So my name is Anil. We do this show every Wednesday and Thursday night. Today is Thursday night. And... Uh, What do we do? I'm trying to figure out how to share this thing, but Facebook's changed, right? It's like, what the hell? First of all, I'm not sure how many of you can hear me. And if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down on the uh, quality of sound. Can you hear me? Because I'm using a tripod now. It's a little away from me. So I'm not sure how much of my voice is going through. And uh, nothing is worse than bad audio quality. No matter how good the picture is. Right? <sighs> I'm sweating. I have the cold. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I just got a cold, maybe. I don't know what else it is. So I'm staying in my room, not leaving for now. If I can, I'm going to try and get a, a, what do you call, a test kit, just to see if things are okay. Yeah, corona, corona, ke chakkar mein mein bhi phas gaya gaya. But fitness... is an important thing, no matter what activity we do in life, right? Fitness is awesome. A lot of times, just because you're fit, you end up fighting and beating a lot of things. I don't know, maybe, maybe in the times of coronavirus, in this pandemic that we're seeing ourselves through, do we find ourselves investing in fitness? Of course, fitness in the context of the show tonight. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Nikita, for letting me know that you could hear me nice and clear. Of course, others did too. So fitness has amazing benefits, right? It gives you great self-esteem. It improves your memory, it prevents disease. You can do a lot of things. Of course, it makes you look good. It helps you manage your weight. Now, weight is an important thing between the sheets. Now, working out is, has got its benefits. I'm not here to sit here and tell you something you already know. Well, people, experts say that it does wonders for your sex life. Now, who are these experts? Maybe fitness freaks who have a great sex life. <laughs> they become the experts, right? So what are the things that fitness can do for your life between the sheets? 
Now I want to hear your stories. The lack of fitness can also do things for your life between the sheets. At the end of the day, it's how good you feel about yourself. This is not about body shaming. It's not about trying to tell you that you've got to be slim and skinny and sexy for you to have a great sex life. If I ever said that, and if you were anywhere within two feet of me, you're going to turn around and slap me saying, you're full of crap. At the end of the day, it's about how you feel about yourself, self-esteem. It can happen. It can happen with... Uh, and I'm not saying you've got to be a certain body size to enjoy sex. It's just fitness. Or health. Good health. I don't know if you've experienced or you've known of people who've had a good sex life between the sheets and are fit. What's your own experience? Have you run out of steam? Have you been with somebody who takes long and you needed the endurance and the stamina for it and you didn't have it? I mean, usually it's a guy problem. Women usually take longer to finish. Men are like Michael Schumacher. They want to finish fast and they want to finish first. And they don't care about how you ladies go through this. So ladies, I want to be able to talk to you about your experiences. Regardless of your fitness, what about your man's fitness? Has it come in the way for you to enjoy your time between the sheets? So that's really the topic of tonight, is how has fitness come in the way of your life between the sheets? You could have lovely stories. You could have some regaling stories about how it was and you know how you went at it like jackrabbits or a jackhammer. You know what a jackhammer is, right? If you don't, Google it. Uh, but you may also have some really sad tales. I want to hear those stories. Oh, and you know what? I just took an Allegra. And that's saved me. I was dying till I took it. So maybe I'm going to be on a high and I don't feel like I'm going to feel sick or whatever. But once in a while, if I sneeze, excuse me. So yeah, tell me about your fitness stories between the sheets. How have things panned out? Did you feel that I wish, you know, that you were fitter? Did you feel that you were fitter? I wish I was fitter. Maybe I wish he had the stamina, or what about health? If you have other health issues, has it come between you and your time between the sheets? And has that, now I'll tell you why it's important, okay? It's not just about the pleasure. Because when you're not able to perform at your peak, it can affect the expectations of your partner. And when it affects the expectations of your partner, could affect your relationship it could affect your day it could affect your night your afternoon your evening uh, whenever it is that you want to do it or not or if you're working if you go out of your home with a relationship that's kind of broken because of you know health now health you cannot control some people say and yeah maybe to an extent but you could control your fitness. You can give your health the fighting chance it needs to perform or help your body perform at optimum levels. So,
What's your story? 961176. 961176. Nine eight nine eight. Nine six one one seven six. Nine eight. Nine eight. Fitness between the sheets. That's what we're talking about. Now this show can become interesting. If you called in and participated. Now last night, the show was awesome. Why? Because you participated, told me your stories, heard stories from other people. And that's what makes the show interesting. If you're not going to sit here and think, oh, let somebody else call. Oh, let somebody else call. I think you should be over that by now. The moment I started my show, I had, you know, 30, 35 people jump in. Come on, jump in on this and start talking about this. And uh, there's no right or wrong answer. So no one's here to judge you, okay? It's just that what has your experience with fitness and life between the sheets been? And some of you, and you know, when I'm doing my show now, not 10 years ago, not 10 years ago, I had a lot of you listening, a lot of you listening when you were kids in your schools, in your high schools or in your college. And it would be fair to say you may not have had the experience. You may not have experienced life between the sheets till fourth base. And so you have not much to contribute. But 10 years later, we're doing the show here. And most of you are from those times when you heard it as a kid. I don't know if I have any new listeners here tonight. And if I do have new listeners here tonight, shout out. Send me a sign that you're listening and that you're new to this. I'll be on my best behavior because I want you back. I love it when you respond to my calls like this. Thank you. Hi, who's this? What's your name? Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Radha. Radha. You're early tonight. So you're not working tonight, I see? I have it from 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought this topic is quite relevant to me. So, really? Yeah. How so? Yeah. Uh, so since childhood, I was very, I, like, I was overweight. So when I used to see my friends and everyone, you know, having boyfriends and stuff, uh -huh. even though they were in girls' school, so... I used to feel very uh, conscious and I grew up with the sense of having that, you know, uh, sex was always for people who had great figures. Okay. And uh, hence I started becoming averse to it and I discovered masturbation. When wait, I was wait, 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 wait. So you found yeah. your friends to have better figures and having a better time between yeah. the sheets and it, it kind of gave you a sense of uh, body shame and you felt that it's you don't want to get yeah. naked in front of a guy because you think you're not fit enough and so you discovered yeah. masturbation. You should have discovered masturbation regardless. <laughs> yes. That's a whole different show. We'll talk about that next time. Yeah. But what happened? So you discovered masturbation and then what happened? Did you try and make yourself feel good about yourself? Yes, I did. How? And uh, so I used to, you know, watch porn, oh, and okay. I used, uh, and I used uh, like I initially first used. Uh, uh, <laughs> should I say it? <laughs> you what? <laughs> should I say it? <laughs> well, let's let's go let's go slowly. What are you trying to say? You watch porn okay. and what? I watched porn and I tried fingering myself and stuff. Well, that's so, how you that's how you masturbate, really. Okay. Yeah. So I felt a sense of joy and stuff. Of course. And uh, I was a little conscious when I used to see that because, as you said, you know, since the days the show is fitness related, with how did it affect? But the joy was there, but it didn't last for long. When I used to see myself after that, and I used to think that you know 
what if the guy is not interested? What if he doesn't feel the, you know, each time it, it used to hit me hard. Uh, oh, no pun so, intended over there. It hit you hard, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. So when I grew up and I mean, I fell in love and stuff like that, I explored and so I... So how, did, okay, wait, you've been describing this phase of your life. How old were you here? I was in class 5, 6. So it was from class what? 5 to 10. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if I could fall off my chair, I would because I'm not sitting on a chair. <laughs> but class 5, you started Kukushi. Yes. yes. How old is that? Uh, class 5 was around 11. 11 or 12, maybe, yeah. Okay, well, like it, I guess uh, maybe the next time I come back doing this show, maybe my show should be on this subject. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. okay, so then you grew up into a teenager when you actually had the real hormones going. Uh, yeah, so I uh, went into multiple relationships, but it for five years, I mean, this affected me so much that I allowed, I mean, kissing was itself a big step, but... Even when the guys were interested in coming towards me, yeah. I used to, you know, step back because, like you said, I was so conscious, like, like of this. Day. So I used to be scared that once he slept with me, maybe he'll break up with me. So some, I never. Some allowed. people think that's a great, great problem to have. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. people, not all, but clearly yeah. not you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, something which happened later, which... Uh, so what, so like, so your fears, your fears, did they come true or what? Yes, they did. So, How many times? Uh, one major time, like not in relationship, because ultimately when I never allowed, we did break up because of this reason. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, so wait a minute, so... Yeah. So he saw you being this way even before he approached you. So why would this be a surprise? Who? Oh, I mean, I'm talking about two, three relationships which I had. I never allowed anything apart from kissing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you just yeah. wore the chastity belt. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Or one or two, even I uh, ran off. I mean, I mean, you can say because I was scared. So, so he broke off with you because you weren't given. Yeah. First base and, and that was it. I broke up. Yeah. Okay. And, and some I broke up. And you broke yeah, up because, because you didn't you didn't want to put yourself through that agony. Yes. Fair enough. Maybe. I don't know it could have come true or not, but at that point that was my reality. Yeah, no, fear is uh, fear sometimes makes things look real or more real than they are. And it came true actually. Okay. Because uh, once, uh, I told you about my divorce and all, right? But yeah. Before that, yeah, you also told me about how you made out with somebody in your honeymoon. Yes. That didn't, that didn't sound like uh, low self-esteem. No, then. that didn't. But it also <laughs> went through before that. So okay. I overcame it. So before that, uh, I mean, I had, when this matrimonial thing and all was happening, I did come across one guy when I was talking to him. This is before my husband. I mean, okay. my ex-husband, of course. He left me because I was too fat. That's what he told me on my face. And he came to you because he thought you were thinner than you actually were? Yeah, like we spoke over the phone and stuff. We used to video call and all. And I was honest about my weight and stuff. Uh But when we met, so this was the... Oh, this was right after he met you. Okay. Yeah. For the first time. So I became very conscious and then I started losing weight. That was the time I became very determined. Oh, you did this to prove it to somebody else? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still not good. But okay, it, you lost weight and you showed him and you proved something. To who? Who did you prove anything to? To myself, not to anyone. Oh, good. <laughs> I never spoke with him. So oh, then yeah, what happened? Right. So then what happened? After you've lost lost weight and you felt great about yourself, did you yes. uh, then open it up? And that's when life happened and I got married. Hi, hi. <laughs> your your parents are going to be the subject of a lot of shrink bills that you'll have. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. So you, you should yeah. tell your parents to pay for your shrink bills. I pay for my shrink bills. 
and you just go at it at your parents. Your mom listening tonight? No. <laughs> oh, does she know this no. part? Yeah, yeah. She knows all of this stuff. Yeah. They know they screwed it up for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I'm able to survive through it. But now I'm kind of okay. Like when I, when, like the best part is when I had it for the first time. Yeah. I knew I was damn good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pleasantly surprising though. And uh, it doesn't matter. Wait, so, you, so you're saying you yeah. were a great performer and it didn't matter how you looked and that guy was just floored. I mean, I mean my literally. ex-husband. Yeah, he was the first one who I did it with. And he was like, oh, don't leave me. Please stay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that part was good. I wouldn't say no. Yeah. 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 I mean, I got my confidence, actually. So he made, So that's one, that's one good thing that happened out of your marriage yeah. then, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. It did. But yeah, fitness can make a lot of difference between the shapes. I'm a true example for it. And what about him? Was he fit? Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> after marriage, after marriage, I mean, uh, he became fit. But I mean, for his height and stuff, yeah. Yeah, it was good, actually. It was satisfying. Oh, it was nice. bad. Yeah. All right, Radha, thank you for sharing your story. Thank and you, you seem to have quite a lot of them. I should just have a show just with you all the time. Okay, Radha, what's yeah. your story today? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. 961176. Uh, 989898. 961176. 989898. See, the nose is beginning to block off again. That Allegra is just wearing off, I think. Oh, well. I need your help. You guys need to start talking with me. Otherwise, I'm just going to shut the show down. There's no point suffering through this if I have to do this all by myself. We're talking about fitness today, right? Fitness and how it affects your life between the sheets. So working out clearly uh, makes you feel sexy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you guys work out? Anyone in the listening audience work out? How does that make you feel? Okay, you know that... You know, that feeling when you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror, you're like, that is good. Because you ladies have your own version of it. You know, pop it up and pout and show your flat belly. Or oh, mostly this, I guess. Makes you feel good, right? Makes you feel great about yourself. And that comes with confidence. And you take that confidence into your bedroom. And what do you think happens there? Lots can happen there. What's your story? Does working out make you feel sexy? Or do you feel sexy anyway? You don't have to work out to feel sexy. But do you have a time in your life when you didn't work out and you still felt sexy, but you started working out, did it change? Did it get better or is it the same? Your stories, guys. I can stare myself into this screen. And if you can look at my eyes, they're fading. It's difficult to breathe with just one nostril. Definitely cannot do pranayam. Thank you. Thank you. I love some people in my life and she is one of them. <laughs> Welcome between the sheets. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? What's your name? Uh, I prefer to stay anonymous uh, for the obvious reasons. You're, you're, obvi you're, you're sniffling like me too. Are you okay? I'm always fine, but 
I don't know. For some reason, you're always attacking my voice. Oh, no, I love your voice. <laughs> I get a grip then. I cannot attack it. I know. No, I'm just trying to figure out because it's nicer when you're, you're – everyone's nicer voices when they have a cold or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, anonymous. Just yeah, let's wh- just stay anonymous. Just, let's just keep it anonymous. Yeah. Just pick any name and that could be your name. It's kind of weird to say hi, anonymous. Okay. Uh, let's just call me Dominique then. Dominique. Inspired by Ooh. Dominatrix. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that. Dominique. Yeah. Sexy. Yeah, Dominique. Okay. And in this time of social distancing and all that, everything is exciting. <laughs> tell me about <laughs> Every it. Every thought is exciting. <laughs> so, tell me about it. So, Dominique, tell me about fitness and how it worked in your life between the sheets or, or the lack of it. Uh Okay, uh, just uh, clear out something for yeah. me. Is it uh, is it like some sort of uh, like fitness uh, sort of fixated, like you know, like women specific, or is it like no, you know, you can talk you about the guys as well? Yeah, I just told you if if you had an experience with a guy who wasn't fit enough and didn't do well for you, and that's part okay, of so your just, life. Okay, any, anything boiling down to the uh, the sexual performance? Not necessarily. Fitness? It could be many things. Look, hmm. this this show is not, as you would know, is not just all about sex all the time, right? It's about when you get between the sheets. It could just be, you know, the guy's tired or you just don't feel like hugging because you're depressed for some reason. Then mental fitness is also fitness. So, yeah, it could be anything. God, the things I would have to tell you about the mental fitness part, but then let us stick <laughs> with the sexual one as of now. Yeah, whatever you want. It's your story. <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, basically, uh-huh. how it has been, I, I guess you're quite familiar because I have been a frequent caller in the past, so um, I have uh, confided things in you. There were a lot of relationships where I felt adequate, where I felt inadequate. I mean, I've had my share. Yeah. So, um, okay, so let's just talk about my first guy. My first guy was uh, a chain smoker. Not that I'm saying that I was in the best of my health. I was not exactly doing so well. And plus, it was like my first time. So there's always that inferiority complex that you have yeah. about your performances, about the way you look. Well, it's more like anxiety, right? Uh, you could say anxiety regarding the performance of it. Yes, of course. That was one bit. Mm-hmm. And then the guy, since he was a chain smoker, so like he would wrap up the act within a minute or two. And I thought that was it <laughs> because I had not exposed myself to the world of porn. Would you believe if I told you that it's sex which sort of uh, preceded masturbation? I started masturbating like after the one I, minute performance. Right? After I started getting <laughs> my action. And so all this time I thought because uh, I have always had that. It was more of the curiosity, not so much the horniness part of it. I just wanted to see what the hype was all about since I come from all-girls school. So everyone was suddenly talking about it. And uh, then I thought, like, okay, let's just uh, give it a shot. And I had this guy in my mind. I was in a relationship with this one. And uh, things, uh, you know, went naturally. And uh, the thing about him was, like, the act used to finish off, like I said, within a minute or two. And... uh, I used to think that was all. So you know what? It what? reminds me of a of a stand up comic uh-huh. that asked, uh, "What do you think? How much do you think can happen in fifteen minutes? Do you think fifteen minutes is a lot?" It's. Uh, I wouldn't say it's. Uh, it can be quantitative. It's more quality game, you know. I know. So she's like, you can make uh, Maggie noodles, two minute noodles, seven times. <laughs> Oh, we minutes. know it's all a myth. Yeah. We, we all know that's a myth. It takes, it takes like, you know, three minutes for the water to boil. Hardly really like to make Maggie for that matter. Or you can so, say, or you can say, I'm five minutes mein aa rahi hu three times. <laughs> but so intended on that one. Or, <laughs> five mein aa rahi hu. or you can, or you can have sex with her ex-boyfriend 15 times. Kind of sounds like your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez oh god Joby if you're listening to this please turn off right now the one minute god. wonder <laughs> one minute wonder oh jeez I'm so sorry Joby if you're hearing this one okay forgive this one for he doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah 
So while he had like his moves, he had everything like you know intact in theory. Uh-huh. Uh, when it came to like you know the pragmatism of it, he he used to get exhausted pretty early on, and I used to just uh, consider it to be the complete act. That was all. Okay. Because uh, while growing up, I did not have many female friends to com- you know to exchange notes with, nor I had like guys to like you know whom in you know in whom you I can confide, confide in. These because they may all have the same problem; they don't know how to answer you. Like. Uh, like they wouldn't be able to look you in the eye either. <laughs> no, no, that was not the case. As a matter of fact, these guys used to brag about themselves. So yeah, but who knows be, what's like, true? Know, right? Really bad. Yeah, who they knows? Be, who knows they, if it's they, true? It's all trash talk. Yeah, it's all trash talk, right? In the end of it all, they just resort to all the locker talks. They how they used to brag about like you know their sexual performances, their sexual experiences. They used to like you know just sort of like uh, give a hyperbole of what they used to perform. Yeah, it's just like, like being uh, a politician, right? You talk about all the good things you do. Oh God, <laughs> tell me about it. There was no end to it. There was simply no end to it. They okay. would just go on and on about oh we can like you know do so for half an hour. Listen, I'm not asking about your experiences. I'm rather, you know, asking you how you could, like, you know, anything you could just say help, could help me in my exactly. you know, experiences. So um, then what? So you went, you so you passed on the one minute wonder, and then you went on to anything that's. So then you found out that you could do this all by yourself, <laughs> and then that raised the standards of your expectations. Say, okay, if nobody can meet this standard, they're not worth doing it with. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. I, did happen that did happen but even then i and thought then, like how long did it take you to finally say okay you know what i do need somebody so i'm getting boring too uh i would not say that it was getting boring i thought we were quite amateur in bed like you know so we did not have uh i like i said we were just uh, just to each other we were not like you know exchanging notes with our friends nor we were like you know seeking sort of an expedition so you were in your own bubble thinking that hey this is great uh, <laughs> yeah that we, we just saw like you know we just uh, sufficed in whatever we were doing we were like okay fine this should do i think that's all there is to it so and, have you uh, experienced this... real fitness after that? oh yeah that the second relationship uh, comes into play like you know, the guy was obsessed with his fitness. He was all puffed up and used to work out at gyms, and he he had his fitness game like I uh, get you know, a what right to the T. And uh, there was a part of me which was always envious because I used to feel inferior in those lines. I was like, okay, I'm not working out as much as he is, yeah. and he it just became like he became a little conceited. He thought like, okay, whatever I'm uh, giving out in bed, I think that should, uh, you know, this is uh, this is like the best best that is. While I knew where exactly keep, the flaws did he, were. Did he put a mirror right next to himself? I I could have been. <laughs> I was I wear glasses, so yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be able to tell. He was looking. He was looking into your eyes, but not really at you. <laughs> for that I should have worn glasses but sadly I gave that a skip and that would have been an interesting prop come to think of it wearing glasses it? To oh no that's really hot I love women I love women in glasses uh, I think he preferred me that way because then I he could see anyway. himself <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah not making the eye contact so this guy he just sort of like since he uh, you know he's all like just sculpted and everything you know so he thought like he did not need to like you know you know perform as much he didn't have to work so he, hard enough he just he's, yeah he used to just lay down and he used to expect me to do all the heavy duty stuff he's like hey you've got you've got adonis right here so you do all the work i do yeah, all so the work in the gym to look like this now you do all the work in bed <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly see i've done my part i've got the raw material here now it's you up to you to like you know make the day optimizers <sighs> so i so i remember i uh, used to sort of like you know do my bed by like you know not my bed it was uh, it was rather more than a bed because i was uh, i found myself to be overcompensating for the lack of a good body there so that became, how would you overcompensate i'm interested i just thought uh, okay going down on him as many times as possible because i thought okay that will please him and uh, did not expect the same from him so it was not like a two way street that he'd go down on me so there were instances where i felt okay i am keeping myself you know bereft of pleasure so that was something i should have uh, you know paid more attention to but then i thought okay i don't want to lose out on this one this guy is like keeping he was like good on paper like you know checking out all the boxes there paper he was tiger, good huh? on paper a guy who's like fit a guy who's like uh, emotionally psychologically stable 
and uh, everything sorted in his life so i just didn't want to let go of him so there were other factors in play when i wanted to you know cling on to this one okay operative uh, term being cling let me just point that out to you operative term was cling yeah so you just hung on to him because you thought you couldn't do better and i yeah i think he started losing interest gradually because then i thought he thought like no, so okay, how so how did better. so wait a minute so let, all that is fine about their fitness Mm-hmm. But you overcompensated because you felt lacking in your fitness? Or yeah. The, or the way because, you looked? Or the way you looked? Okay. Uh, can I ask you something? Are yeah. you familiar with ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I fall in the first category. We are not exactly, you know, uh, full-figured as, you know, if I put it politely. We're not really full-figured. Okay, we so are lacking you, so you're, you don't have, places. You, you, you don't have uh, bigger, big breasts like guys would want. Yeah, well, yeah, but, Shakila. <laughs> no, no, listen, there are guys who like uh, your body style as well, body type as well. Yeah, but it just so turned out that he was into, like, you know, full-figured women. Well, then why so did he this... even come to you? Because you were given out? I like... know, because even I was good on paper. <laughs> Everything was working out in my favor, career-wise. And... No, my love, because look, you know, if you have a full figure, you can either see it or you cannot see it, right? So he knew this going in, and then after he's had his time with you, then he realizes that what he that he wanted someone with more meat. You could say that he wanted to have like a very variegated experience. The first uh, chick that he mm. slept with was very voluptuous. Now let's move on to the lean one. And maybe the second one is going to be like somewhat in middle. Yeah, so but know? why did, why did, so I'm, I'm curious, maybe you, you, I'm sure you don't feel that way now, but then, so if he was going to go and look for a variety, mm-hmm. then you were just who you were. So you were, the, you were the best in your body type, maybe, right? Uh, I guess, wasn't made to feel so, although, but yeah, I guess I was, I mean, mm-hmm. I thought like I was doing much better than my first relationship this one i in this one i thought like uh, i was still in a better shape than before but it was so not at, so at much what point, at what point did it become nice for you that you felt great about yourself and that everything started falling in place and, and oh. did it take a man to get to that point or did it happen no, on no, your no, own? no 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 <laughs> Thankfully, I ruled out man for that, for that matter, to regain, to reclaim over my confidence. It, it took just myself. I think that confidence sort of like no stem from within. It did not take a man to validate that for me. And how I achieved that was through boudoir photography. Oh, right. So you, you know my exploits, right? I do a lot of selfies. You know, it's why I always go about posting all, uh, all sort of I selfies. Just, and, uh, and just for the record for everybody else, yes, I know this person who's calling me. Uh, hey she's, guys. She's been she's been uh, calling me since I was doing my show. Not calling. Make me sound like a stalker. No, no, no. You no, 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 love. That's not being a stalker. It's just that you've been interacting with me on this show for a long time, and uh, I've never met her, although I've tried to. Uh, oh, there we go again. And uh, yeah, we're just friends on Facebook, just like a lot of us are friends on Facebook. So. You heard him, guys. Just Facebook friends, nothing more. <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, I, I would have loved to meet you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly yeah. speaking, but I guess you know, I don't. Everybody doesn't get everything in life. Uh, um, mm. But no, we. But that said, some, but that's it, it. But, so yes, you take yeah. some selfies. I saw some selfies on your Facebook page, and they're pretty good, actually. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. That coming from you, yeah. No, although that coming from you should not be taken as a compliment. You don't actually take good yeah, selfies you of yourself. Sure, yeah. yeah <laughs> the same cookie cutting. <laughs> like, I don't know what's with your selfies. So, uh, yeah. So that's how I reclaim. Like, boudoir photography is... Uh, so if... Uh, for the uninitiated, let me just tell you what boudoir photography is. It's like uh, taking pictures of yourself in a very sensual, erotic, in a very wonderful light like dropping off your inhibitions, dropping off your clothes, taking pictures from all angles, so that you can just bring yourself to the whole objective of this exercise, exercise is just to love feeling, yourself. Yes, yeah, so feel good about yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for the effort. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this is what you do. And uh, it just took me a lot of time to bring myself to love myself. So uh, this exploration became back... Uh, back in 2014. 
so it, i was i was not in the best of head space i just wanted to feel good about myself by then i had broken up with my uh, second guy and uh, things were really not panning out in my life i was the lowest point in my life so i think it all was very primal for me you know i i had to like start from uh, grassroots level all the way up to the top you know building up that confidence again yet again in my life so i started getting into boudoir photography and uh, there is like a wide range of uh, you know stuff that you can do within this uh, within this photography and i i just felt better about myself i shaped myself less over time and with every composition there was just a uh, something that just erupted in me i was becoming a highly realized self lover <laughs> to put it delicately a very like highly realized self lover i knew exactly how to play with my contours with my curves and in the, the thing that was in the, unappreciated in the photography section yeah through photography i mean imagine it was not even through my eyes it was through the lens the, the, the eyes of you know of the lens of the camera well if the camera is seeing it then i'm sure uh, two pairs of eyes can see the same thing yeah so all this time i thought okay how come this topography was like missed out by a guy i mean cuz guys are, are stupid the, your voice is slightly muffled it just just uh, i said guys are stupid they yeah, guys were dumb guys were really dumb i was like how could they have missed out on this topography or the the curve i'm rocking this curve what's wrong with them you know i would have loved myself like as much yeah, as yeah, i had yeah i time. would i would make love to myself if i found this person <laughs> yeah tell me about it i would really would have <laughs> so that's how i was able to snap out of it and that's how i was able to like you know and it wasn't just the budo photography i started taking a better care of myself like started doing cardio uh, it was a mix of pilates it was a mix of yoga it was everything like you know in a boiling boiling pot and the results were like fab fabulous now yes and uh, now i if a guy approaches me i i sort of uh, i know where it's all coming from with the place of like you know maybe they want to make themselves feel better about themselves by hanging out no, so when you at- he's listen so when you're working out and right after yes. you work out if do you work yeah. out do you work out yeah i do okay so I just right, told you. right after you work out do you is do you feel your libido rising more than normal or oh no big time there's like yeah. a shoot of dopamine serotonin endorphins whatever you may call it it's just a big shot of it yeah and that's why most people have sex at gyms maybe not here but yeah <laughs> elsewhere they do it's like such a good boost to your uh, sexual performance there i'm wondering why i never went to a gym oh uh, yeah about time you hit the gym now but given the situation i think uh, it's only yeah. better that you yeah do whatever you do in no, your life. Yeah, lockdown. yeah, it's yeah, I do everything in the house all by myself. The gym, the libido and the satiation, all of that. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> yeah, because it's so apparent through your body. Yes. Come on. No, but yeah, you do work out. I have seen your training videos. Yes, you are doing really well. And uh, which okay. wasn't the case in last you know i think two years ago but you're doing really well now so that is commendable and you know thank you very much but i also take refuge in the fact that at my age it's not it's okay you such an agent <laughs> get over yourself such an agent yeah i got to use it i got to use it to my benefit <laughs> wherever it works you know sometimes sometimes it doesn't work but if it works i'm going to use it I know please do it it's actually cringe worthy you know it's like okay for a for a 50 year old look at me i mean <laughs> well, yeah i think that's a uh, yeah that's a backhanded uh, brag oh that's good oh that's a good one yeah you know i want to see uh, a lot of people at 50 52 actually i'm 52 now that 50th birthday just passed oh, me by like say, uh, oh you don't say oh you don't say 52 holy crap <laughs> so uh yeah that's about it I'm so i'm going to uh, be half ticket soon come again i said i'm going to become a half ticket soon half ticket soon a senior citizen discount you know to <laughs> <laughs> do guys i'm not 30 or whatever it is i'm not 30 yet i'm still in my 20s or so i would like to believe <laughs> yeah so am i i'd like to believe i'm still in my 20s <laughs> <laughs> by heart yes sab dil se jawan hai Yeah, I'm 20 with 32 years of experience. 
<laughs> yeah so that's my um, two cents please guys start doing boudoir photography get into fitness yeah and, and when you do that boudoir photography yourself. when you do that photography please show it to us maybe we'll start seeing you in the way that we haven't been seeing you Whoa, okay, that's a big ask of me. That is a big hey, no, ask no, no, of me. No, I'm just <laughs> telling you know, since you're giving this general advice, I'm adding to that advice and saying, please show it to whoever you want them to see. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not generally to all in sundry, but whoever you think should see it, just help <laughs> them see you better. You know, there's this, uh, just uh, just on a side note, I wanted to mention this thing. Uh, there's this photographer, uh, mm-hmm. Sophie Ebrard, and uh, she's a very renowned uh, Buddha photographer. Okay. So I got in touch with her, showed my work, and I think she, she might be interested in, like, you know, getting me on board with her next project. So, parents, any, any, I come. Any, 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 any chance uh, using this long-standing relationship we have that I get to see? No. You do know that everything has been put on limbo given the lockdown situation. So, or maybe what you've done in the past, your work. You know, I gotta admire your work. I've always kept you in loop. Come on. No. But I've always kept you in loop, haven't I? I mean, I've made my, I've uh, done my bit. Yeah, you have actually. And someone here, Anuradha Davar, is coming in and saying, "What photography?" Anuradha, it's Budo photography. Please Google while you're at it. Budo, See, it's a, it's a it's French spelled. word, so it's spelled differently. Okay, okay. So it's uh, this is how you spell it. It's B O U D O I R. So please, uh, guys, you need to explore this kind of photography. And trust me on this. It just takes a bit of time to like you know get into the groove of it and the rhythm of it. And once you do so, you'll be able to empower yourself uh, in in a huge way. In a huge way. Trust me. You'll be getting to see your own body first before you know you get down to yeah in ways get... that you've never seen it. Exactly. So you need to see yourself in that light first. You need to sexualize yourself first before you go about sexualizing anyone else for that matter. So empowering yourself is, you know, it should be the first priority. And then comes like the part of like, you know, where you feel. Uh, see, if you, if you actually come to think of it now, guys, most guys, I mean, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that every guy, but most guys uh, get into the act and uh, usually think about how to pleasure themselves and take care of themselves. And they don't really care if the woman's enjoying it or not. Uh, so if you flip that over and this boudoir photography makes you feel better about yourself, you're all uh, sexually charged up, where you just have to go take care of yourself in the act and don't worry about him. Mm-hmm. Does that work? Or you've got to be, that you've got to have the guy make it for you. Can you do it for yourself while you're in the act in your own mind and your own self-worth? Mm, uh, there was one photographer who passed away three years ago. Yeah. Okay, it's going to get grim. I forgot his name. I think Gotham. No, I'm not too sure. And his muse was Lakshmi, the model. So these guys used to take pictures oh, but, of themselves. You're, you're and talking about Gotham Raja Daksha. Oh yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah, I that to guy. Know him, actually. Oh yeah. And Lakshmi Menon was his muse. Yeah. And they used to capture those moments, uh, you know, of the act. And uh, yeah, that's how they like sort of uh, spice their uh, sex life. Even this guy wasn't any younger. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ridiculous. So, just hey, I'll retract what's, that. What's age got to do with it? <laughs> I'll, I'll retract that. I'll retract that. But um, see, the thing about uh, Indian guys, or I would not generalize it to Indian guys, or most of the guys, let's say, they're very conservative. Uh, they have a very conservative mindset. You go about taking these pictures, and uh, that does not go down well with them. Well, because... they don't go down well anyway. So, what the heck? Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just uh, then you don't have any, uh, you know, choice but to dump their ass, their conservative ass, because this is how they, you know, sort of interpret the whole thing as like it's quite sluttish Oops. of you, it's quite hoardish of you. You should not like resort to something like this. You know, I'm here to make you make you feel better about yourself. Why do you have to? Is this is, you know, are these pictures taking rounds in the group of your, you know, in the circle of your friends or something? So those sort of insinuations were something I just yes. couldn't wrap my head around. Asses. So, you know, one thing that troubled me was like this boudoir exercise, this boudoir photography was rather a private exercise. It was not so much like, you know, 
I could share those pictures with guys. Yeah, it always like sort of sparked that iota of suspicion in the guy's head that these these photos are definitely taking ground. So that's a that's another story for another time. But let me just tell you that this is how I've been able to you know bring myself to love myself, fitness and good of photography. I just needed to see myself in a better light and not through a guy's eyes. Well, so, that's the perfect way, and I think your story has probably got a few ladies out there thinking and guys for that matter and if you have got yourself thinking with what dominica said Ooh, yeah. <laughs> then uh, let's continue this conversation and uh, call in maybe you can join her maybe after her but if you don't talk there are things that happen in your life that stay shut and uh, can really affect your life between the sheets and even outside of it <laughs> yeah if it resonates with uh, any of your uh, experiences whatever i just shared with you please uh, come out and like you know let just uh, talk it out in the open yeah we're yeah. not here to judge and like dominique is anonymously dominique you can just be anonymous i don't need to really know your real name just pick uh, a name and that. come in you know screw that screw that i'm akriti Okay, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. I was trying to be, uh, you know, a gentleman and not bring that out and I continue to call you Dominique. And here you go. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, I'm Akshiti. Uh, yeah. In case uh, you have any sort of a query, please you can like you know get in touch with me or uh, Alex for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll be yeah, your consultants. Okay. Yeah, we'll be your consultant. He'll give you his man's point of view, and I'll you know with women's one. So please go ahead, bombard. Uh, and I and I don't know if you remember at some point I did offer to say that we should we should co-host the show together. Uh, oh yeah, right. Yes. Maybe that yes. time is maybe that time is coming closer. Maybe you're not ready for it. I don't know, but I'm still thinking maybe a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much to say about that one, but yeah, story for another time. <laughs> well, alrighty then, Akriti, Ulf, Dominique. Upset Akriti is just fine. Akriti will do. Please, guys, it's Akriti, Dominique. Yeah, that's my alter ego, and that's what I call myself when I do boudoir photography. So, photography by Dominique. Yeah, Dominique. And if you ladies, Dominique. and if you ladies want to have boudoir photography happen with you, maybe you can have Dominique come and take those pictures for you. Oh, I'll do a fab job. Trust me on that. I'll do a fab job. And she won't I'll... charge very much, but she will charge. She should. You have to pay for it. <laughs> No, 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 I won't judge. What? <laughs> just a shot at Mark me to judge. <laughs> yeah. You can just relax about it. It's the, right. uh, you know, if you, as long as you feel good, that's the only, uh, yeah, money I have. That's it. Well, thank you, Akriti. I really appreciate it. And it's nice talking to you after a long, long time. My pleasure's all mine. Take right. care. You take care of yourself and be safe. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye now. Nine six one one seven six nine eight nine eight. We're discussing. If you're just joining us, by the way, we're discussing uh, uh, fitness, fitness between the sheets, and how it affects your life, not just yours, but your partner's as well. Do you have stories about that time? If you do, uh, let's talk about it. Tell me your stories. Right. I mean, I found myself lasting more than a minute. When I'm fit. It's nothing but cardio. Can you run a mile? Can you run 10 miles? Can you run 20 miles? If you're able to run 20 miles, then your body is ready for it. But is your equipment ready for it? That's a different story. And you've, you've had experiences with guys who were fit but didn't stay in the game, if you know what I mean, if they flip-flopped. It's happened to me. I know I have the endurance, but sometimes going that long it just tires you out. Not, not the body, But the body. Nine six one one seven six. Too much information? Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe it happens to some people. Maybe. But it happens. 
I don't think it's, at least I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. कभी खुशी कभी गम यार होता है अब दिमाग में क्या क्या चल रहा होता है क्या पता दैट हैज अ लॉट टू डू विद जो भी होता है राइट सो आपकी कहानियां क्या है देखिए मैं ज्यादा बात नहीं कर सकता हूं सांस नहीं ले पा रहा हूं अगर आप मुझे कॉल करेंगे अपनी कहानियां हमसे शेयर करेंगे तो मेरा बोलना बंद या कम हो जाता है और ये शो में रौनक भी आ जाती है वेलकम बिटवीन द शीट्स हेलो हाय हु दिस सर सर से बात कर रहे आप कौन बोल रहे हैं सर सर मैं नाम है हां जी विकास 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 कहां से बोल रहे हो विकास जी सर मैं बात कर रहा हूं विकास आपका ये नेटवर्क आपसे बड़ा दगा दे रहा है यार धोखा दे रहा है आपको अच्छा? आपका ये टेलीफोन नेटवर्क धोखा दे रहा है जी अब आप से आ रहा है आपकी आवाज ठीक नहीं आ रही यार अभी आप आ रही है अभी ना रे बाबा तो बहुत 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 डिस्टरबेंस तो है मैं तो बता रहा था बता रहा था अंदर था ना आप ठीक है नहीं फिर भी वो आवाजें आ रही है पीछे से खट 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 करके आ रही नहीं भैया आप फिर से ट्राई करें अगर होगा फिर से ट्राई करना विकास भाई नहीं हो रहा अभी ठीक कौन से सर को भी लगा रखा है नहीं मेरी आवाज आती होगी पर आपकी नहीं आ रही मेरे को आप फिर आप फिर से ट्राई कीजिए ना या साउंड क्वालिटी मैटर्स It's easier for me to bring sound to you because I have this perfect place quiet. The phone the phone call sometimes is really terrible. 961176 fitness and aapki zindagi between the sheets mein kya usme kuch farak aaya hai. And this is mostly for the ladies. The show is always for the ladies. Kabhi kabhar koi ladke aa jate hain par उनसे बात करना फिजूल है नॉट बिकॉज आई थिंक यू आर अन इंटरेस्टिंग नॉट बिकॉज आई थिंक आपकी बातें में आपकी बातों में महत्व नहीं है पर ये एक ऐसा शो है जहाँ लड़कों को सुनना चाहिए शायद वो कुछ सीख लें और अपने घर में ये सीख ले जाए और शायद आपके रिलेशनशिप में कोई तब्दीली आए स्टेबिलिटी आए खुशियाँ आए हेलो आप हल्की सी आ रही है यार अच्छा तो बताइए क्या आना हुआ कैसे आना हुआ सर वो हाँ फिटनेस फिटनेस के लिए फिटनेस के लिए आए हैं तो बताइए फिटनेस से आपका क्या ताल्लुक है बिटवीन द शीट में यार आप मैं आपको जरा मैं आपसे माफी चाहता हूँ आपका कॉल ठीक नहीं आ रहा है और मैं जरा क्या है ना कि क्या है ना कि मैं 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 आई होप दिस इज अ बेटर साउंडिंग कॉल हाय हु दिस हेलो रूफटॉप रूफटॉप आई एम बैक शी इज बैक समहाउ वुमेन्स वॉइसेस आर शार्पर एंड दे आर हर्ड बेटर ओ रियली या No, because you have a higher frequency, right? So that higher frequency kind of makes it uh, shrill. You know, it makes it clearer than a guy's voice that is lower frequency. So on a bad network, that could just really be bad. No, I thought like I'm a teacher and I naturally have a quite lo- loud voice. So, no, no, you, you know? have a loud voice, no doubt, but uh, uh-huh. it's still. Ha, to batao. How is your life uh, doing between the sheets with fitness? So, like, um, it was around like three, four years back. I was quite heavy. I'm, I'm still quite heavy. Nothing new about it. But um, four years back, I used to be quite heavy. Uh huh. So you're heavier And than four years ago, or you're lighter now? I'm still heavy. I've said that. I'm still the same. You're but the like, same. So this time, I was like really, really heavy. So my guy was there, and like initially, the things were going fine between the sheets as well. 
लाइक देन आफ्टर सम टाइम लाइक ही सेड कि लाइक यू नो तुझ में वो बात नहीं जो उसमें है जो बात तुझ में है तेरी तस्वीर में नहीं ना गाना नहीं गा पा रहा हूं पर ऐसा ही कुछ भावना है ना हाँ वह समझ गई ठीक है रीजन बिहाइंड इट वॉज बिकॉज लाइक बिकॉज मैं बॉटम पार्ट इज प्रिटी हैवी दो ही गेट्स लाइक यू नो लाइक ही गेट्स टायर्ड रियली सोन बिकॉज ऑफ इट And so wait, 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 like, wait. So your thighs are thick, and he gets tired because of it. How does that work? Because he, according to him, yeah. he used to get less of space. So wait, wait. So sorry to ask the details, but who's on top? He. Okay, so he can't just fit in there because. According to him, okay. according to me, there was sufficient space. You could come in between, but like according to him, the the space was for him is less. So was he fit? As in, was he like skinny? Not a skinny one, I think, but yeah, he was medium size. And I don't know what that medium size means, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, but well, comparatively, little bit, uh, slightly more than you, but uh, more yeah, than me. Huh? Than hey, you. now you're. You, I say he a five felty. Oh, more wow. than me, मतलब क्या देखा है तुमने मुझे? हाँ देखा अभी वीडियो में भी देखा. वीडियो में सिर्फ शकल दिखता है शकल. हमें आइडिया है तो भाई बॉडी का आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव मेट यू राइट ओके यू मेट मी बट ठीक है कपड़े पहने थे ना सर कपड़ों में कितना वेट होता है ये कितनी शेप डिफाइन छुपा लेगा अब क्या पता आप लोग लेडीज लोग भी पहनते हैं नकली नकली चीजें पहनते हैं अपने आप को ऐसे नजर आते हो कि पता नहीं कि असली साइज़ है आई हैव नेवर सीन अ गाय वेयरिंग ऑल दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स टू हाइड देम वी शुड वी शुड स्टार्ट वेयरिंग दीस बट पैड्स एंड ऑल दैट नो मेक अस लुक लाइक नाइस बट्स एंड या प्लीज डू दैट आई नो आई नीड दैट रियली बैड रियली या आई क्लियरली क्लियरली यू डिडंट लुक देयर एंड नोटिस इट ओके व्हेन यू लेट मी या आई सी <laughs> so well then the things were like he soon i found him cheating upon me and all that stuff he what he was cheating upon me he was cheating because he couldn't get in there he could not fit in there exactly because he could not get in there but probably he was not satisfied in between the sheets with me okay and uh, then Be- because like because uh, bahut kaam karna pada adjust right. karna pada uh, and then like uh, certain issues were coming up in between us so eventually we broke off okay so you must have broken off for other reasons or he found a good reason to yeah get there out. were like lot of reason for breaking up with him so i like broke off with him after like okay so how how did that. that affect you though did did, <laughs> did that make you feel bad that did not make me feel bad but kahin na kahin i was getting that inferiority complex and uh, i was i used to have that doubt ki okay he is having an like extra mat- uh, not marital kind of thing but yeah Uh, an affair right. somewhere outside that relationship. Okay. So for to which he used to deny and like after जब हमारा breakup हो उसके around like seven eight months बाद like we got a little caught up and uh, like then he, we became friends again. Okay. We were like okay, we are not going to get back into the relationship ever because that's something which cannot happen again. But uh, we can be friends and we are really good friends till now. Okay, okay. rooftop. Hold on a minute. Hmm. I'm gonna put. रुकावट के लिए खेत है कमर्शियल ब्रेक ले रहा हूं सो वॉट एम ट्राइंग टेल एवरीबडी इज हेल्प मी आर हेयर आपने अभी तक शेयर ही नहीं किया अपने दोस्तों के साथ अरे शेयर तो करिए ना मैं बहुत ही जेलस होता हूं मेरे कुछ दोस्त है ना दे आर डूइंग लाइव कॉन्सर्ट ऑनलाइन दो दो सौ तीन सौ लोग ट्यून इन करते हैं अच्छा अभी शेयर करती हूँ रुको यहाँ पे यार करते कितने लोग हैं बात कर रहो करते रहो करते रहो राइट पोस्ट मुझे भी चाहिए दो सौ लोग यार मुझे भी ठीक है यार दे रहे हैं अभी मैंने पोस्ट कर दिया क्यों नहीं दो सौ लोग मेरे भी यहाँ है क्या मैं गाना नहीं गा रहा हूँ इसलिए अरे आपकी कहानियां सुनवा रहा हूँ अरे वॉइस को लेके क्या करना है? मैं भी गाने गाने लगूंगा नहीं मैं इतना बोर कर रही हूँ क्या नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं 
सोचा गाना गाऊंगा तो लोग आएंगे ठीक है नहीं गाता हूँ <laughs> हाँ तो कहानी बताइए आपका फिटनेस और आपकी जो तजुर्बा है क्या हो गया उसके बाद या सो आई लाइक कहीं ना कहीं आई फेल दैट गॉट दैट इनफीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स हां देन सून आफ्टर दैट आई गॉट इनटू अनदर रिलेशनशिप व्हाइल व्हाइल फीलिंग नॉट सो गुड अबाउट योरसेल्फ हम व्हाइल फीलिंग नॉट सो गुड अबाउट योरसेल्फ सो यू गॉट इनटू अनदर रिलेशनशिप थिंकिंग दैट मे मेक यू फील बेटर या बट लाइक दैट वाज नॉट एग्जैक्ट थिंग दैट इट विल मेक यू फील बेटर बट द थिंग लाइक वी जस्ट गॉट इन आई गॉट इनटू अनदर रिलेशनशिप दो इट वाज नॉट अ प्रॉपर रिलेशनशिप लाइक वी नेवर प्रपोज्ड टू ईच अदर वी नेवर सेड आई लव यू थिंग्स टू ईच अदर बट देयर वर अदर देन दैट दे वी थिंक इन दैट रिलेशनशिप व्हिच आर नॉर्मली आइडियली एंड अ कपल वुड डू ओके सिंस देन लाइक आफ्टर अराउंड 2 इयर्स बाद दिस केम he proposed me for the marriage okay and uh, i was like really not expecting that because i was always ex- used to expect ki okay probably you know we'll get into a, a, like we'll get into a proper relationship where he would be proposing me and that now over here she is directly asking me for the marriage that's so freaked I you out like, yeah yeah okay no problem I had a word with his family. His family was like, "Yo, you are the perfect person for us, and like, you just go and have a word with your parents too." I was like, "Okay, I'll do that." We so both what? had to go on a respective trip. No, so no. So wait a minute. So, so all this time you're feeling not so good about yourself because, and here's this guy who you're dating, and he asked you to marry him, and you now felt, "Oh my God." Yeah. Uh, so uh, so is that oh my god like you were really happy that someone yeah, thought you were yeah i was really happy okay like huh, okay. you know so the... someone thought I thought you good enough to get married to i was not expecting that he would be liking me in that way like uh, i was like theek hai hamare beech mein things are there but he's proposing me for the marriage like i'm not that good looking as well he's surrounded by like so many good uh, good looking girls otherwise he's a photographer hold on a minute <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh I th- I thought I was going to conference two of you, but that didn't work out. Mhm. So he's a photographer. He went to wedding photography and the passion photography. Okay. And uh, he's surrounded by so many good-looking girls. Otherwise, I'm not saying I would. In out of like so many girls, he's still choosing me over everyone. Okay, so that made you feel great. So now again, and, uh, let's bo- let's boil down to this hello. fitness part. So now we're getting to self-esteem issues. Hello. So your fitness part. Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I got you on mute. Sorry. Now you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. So where does how does how did fitness come into this space? So like after that, uh, he said no to me for marriage. Because. I have no idea. He just said he I'm not ready for the marriage. Suddenly, just out of the blue. Yeah. Are wa? Aisa bhi hota? Yeah. And uh, his family who used to be like really loved towards me they all of a sudden they started ignoring me. Like when I had a word with his mother. Yeah. She said to me that you are on the side with me a lot. I'm I'm, and, I'm losing you love. I don't seem to be and, I was like, and that was my ex, ex basically. He was also fat. His dog, uh, that uh, his sister was also fat, but still, like she was like, oh, we really need to lose a lot, out on a lot. And uh, so, what did you do about it? Like, did you do anything about it? Hmm. I said, did you do anything about it? Eventually, did you go out and try to get fit? Yeah, because then I started. Then I started going. I was not like going to the gym most time, baby. But like that, I was not. After that, I was doing it really listen, religiously. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, so you've told us your story. Now it seems like a recurring theme, right? Uh, why are you Why are you losing your signal? I don't, I don't, I don't hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you try calling me back? 
I shall call five. Oh, there you are. Five. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so yeah, I'm saying it's just turning out to be a recurring theme with you. So four years ago, you were heavy. You're still heavy now. Yeah. So now have you given up trying to... Okay, listen, listen. Because then wait. my ex broke up with me. Wait, 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 wait. All listen, right. listen. forget about you had two exes break up with you. You had a marriage. With... So we've already got the plot here. And it's happening over and over again. No, listen, rooftop, rooftop, listen, you got to be with me here now. You're, you're now, you're all over the place. Okay, you're one X, two X, it could be 10 X's. Okay. It all, it's all because of A, how you feel, B, because of how they feel that you are whatever right mm -hmm. now what have you done to change it for yourself like you heard akriti before this yeah okay she had to make things happen for herself and mm -hmm. not get validation from a guy yeah <clears throat> did you make that journey or are you on that journey or you're still to get on that journey yeah then i like head up to the gym and lost quite a few kgs after that. I did a good work shoot. And the first time I saw myself, like, I was like, wow, man, this, these photographs are so beautiful. And, and I felt in love with myself. And then, did you have a man after that in your life and you felt this no. way? No, not yet. Because I don't need any man now. Oh, no, no, that part I get. Uh, and, and yeah, you, you said you don't need a man because you were put off that one guy that... Put off with that. Like, you're okay, I'm done with you. Like, I'm quite sufficient for myself. I don't really need any emotional dependence upon anybody. No, no, no one's talking about emotional dependency. I'm just talking about things between the sheets. For example, if I remember one of your stories, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you were in a mountain and some guy gave you a bottle of rum and then it, it worked out with him, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, you did he have an issue with this or it didn't matter? Or did you? No, it didn't matter to him, I guess. Because after that, we never had a vote. So, for, so it was just it was just a, a roll in the hay, so and that that was it. So I don't have to talk to this girl ever again, or see her ever again, or you don't have to do that either. There's no obligation, and so yeah. that that seems more comfortable to you. Yeah. That is. Get it, thing. get it, get it when you want it, and then don't need them at all. I guess that's more better because there is like you know later sooner or later otherwise the start, people like start expecting you oh you are on the heavier side or that like these kind of issues they start giving you all those things you know like now I have developed this thing okay, okay when whatever form I am if I'm skinny if I'm fat if I'm love me the whatever, way I am I'm beautiful well that, that's really good well that's that's good to feel that way now but I'm asking you about now let's say. Okay, so you're heavy and you feel great about yourself because you're heavy, and in spite of the fact that you're heavy, it doesn't matter, whatever. No, I, I, if I want to lose, I'll, I would be losing for myself. Because okay, so, being let's, healthy, so better. rooftop, let me finish my, my thought, okay? It has nothing to do with whether you want to lose or not. It is who you are, where you are. Now, when you're, when you're doing it, right, do you yeah. find yourself running out of uh, breath? Do you have the stamina? Okay, so this I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up here. Uh, if you can call me back, that's great. Yeah, you're, you're I was losing your connection, and uh, man, I gotta find myself a stand and keep a phone just here because it's right in line with my mic. Yeah, this is called Jugard Jugard Radio Show, कर रहा Actually, this is not a radio show, it's a TV show. Where I am only seeing and you are not seeing. There is no problem. You listen to your voice, you listen to your stories, so this is a lot. What do you say? 961176, if you are just tuning in, this is Between the Sheets. My name is Anil. And I do this show every Wednesday and Thursday night. At 10 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at 12 o'clock. Now the time has been done. At 12 o'clock, it's been 45 minutes. If you have stopped your stories from the people, or you don't want to grow up आगे नहीं बढ़ाना चाह रहे हो तो कोई बात नहीं बता दीजिए मैं भी जाके सो लेता हूँ कोई फायदा नहीं है 
ऐसा नहीं है कि बारह बजे ही तक जाना है अगर जाना है तो आप लोग ले जाओगे मैं नहीं ले सकूँगा मैं ले जा नहीं सकता हूँ बोलने में दिक्कत हो रही है मुझे अगर कभी भी आपको मुझ पे तरस खाना हो आज का दिन बड़ा अच्छा दिन है आज खाइए वैसे आप लोग शेयर किया कि नहीं या नेक्स्ट टाइम मैं यहाँ के गाना गाने लगूंगा दो सौ लोग मुझे भी चाहिए भाई अब ठान लिए आप लोग अपने दोस्तों को बुलाओगे उनसे कहोगे कि यार थोड़ी बातें हो जाए ये कह के मत बुलाना कि अरे ये ऐसा है ये वैसा है एक्सपेक्टेशन जितना ज़्यादा ऊपर आप उठाओगे डिसअपॉइंटमेंट भी उतना ही होगा और उतना ही नीचे गिरेंगे और चोट भी लगेगी आप उनको ये कह के बुलाना कि यहाँ पे इंटरेस्टिंग बातें होती हैं आपके साथ मैं तो सिर्फ यहाँ पर एक प्रबंधक हूँ है ना प्रबंधक मेरी हिंदी कैसी है फर्स्ट क्लास हो गया ना चलिए तो ये कह के उनको यहाँ बुलाना क्योंकि आजकल ऐसी बातें होती नहीं है शायद और वो भी पब्लिक में और कभी कभार पब्लिक में एनोनमसली बात करना उसका अलग सा एडवांटेज होता है हमारे मन में बहुत सारी शंकाएं होती हैं डाउट्स होता है सेल्फ डाउट्स सह प्रेम नहीं होता तो ऐसे विचारधारा को लेकर अगर आप जिंदगी बिताओगे तो शायद प्रॉब्लम होगी तो ले आइए अपने ख्यालों को इस शो पर ऐसी छोटी छोटी बड़ी बड़ी बातों पर मुद्दों पर चर्चा होती है तो आपके मन में जो भी आप समझ रहे हो कि मैं ये जानता हूँ मैं वो जानता हूँ मैं अलाना हूँ मैं फलाना हूँ मैं तोप हूँ शायद आप हो भी पर दूसरों की बातें सुनकर अपनी ही बातें सुनकर मेरी बातें सुनकर शायद आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि आपकी सोच सही रास्ते पे जा रहा है या थोड़ा इधर उधर उसे सही रास्ते पे ले आने का एक मौका मिले सोच के जरिए एक्शन यहीं से शुरू होता है जब सोच ठीक हो तो एक्शन भी ठीक होता है जब नॉलेज ठीक से हो तो निर्णय भी ठीक होता है ये समझ के उनको बुलाइए यहां पे और हां थोड़े मजे भी ले लेते हैं हंसी मजाक भी हो जाता है तो हाँ रम्या जी यू डोंट माइंड मी सिंगिंग बहुत अच्छे अब ये भी करने लगू मैं हाउस कॉन्सर्ट देने लगूंगा हाँ ये ना कैरियो के लगा के गाना आए या ना आए गाना चाहिए और ठंडे पानी से नहीं ना सकता जुकाम जो हो गया है अब देखो अब मैं यहां वहां की उठपटांग बातें करने लग गया हूं इसका मतलब है आपको बस इस टॉपिक पे इंटरेस्ट खत्म तो ऐसा करते हैं मैं भी आपसे विदा लू चालीस मिनट पहले जरा जाके स्टीम इनोलेशन करूंगा अब आज के माहौल में सर्दी रखना भी एक डेंजरस चीज है आपको कुछ हो ना हो लोग समझेंगे आप पीड़ित हो मरीज हो उस चीज का एक्चुअली दो तीन दिन में मैं ज्यादा अपने आप को टेस्ट भी कराने ले जाऊंगा इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू बी कॉशियस ताकि दूसरे लोग हमारे इर्द गिर्द जो हैं उनको कुछ ना हो और मेरे साथ मेरे पास माँ है और माँ की तबीयत को देख भाल करना बेटे का फर्ज होता है वैसे माँ मेरी देखभाल कर रही हैं आई एम सो हैप्पी टू हैव हियर वरना मैं अकेला जैसपुर मेरा कुत्ता भी है साथ में 
पर उसकी देखभाल मैं कर रहा हूँ वो मेरी देखभाल तो करेगा नहीं बीवी बच्चे मेरे तो सात समुंदर पार हैं तो मेरे लिए कंपनी आप ही हो कंपनी दोगे या बस मेरा चेहरा देखते रहोगे और ये आवाज़ सुनते रहोगे तंग आ गया हूँ मैं ये सुन सुन के आवाज़ तुम्हारी अच्छी है आवाज़ तुम्हारी अच्छी है अरे यहाँ मैं आवाज़ सुनाने नहीं आ रहा हूँ विचार विमर्श करने आ रहा हूँ विमर्श मतलब क्या एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत वार्तालाप करने आया हूँ मैं अपना सोच लेके आता हूँ मैं आपकी सोच का इंतजार में बैठा हूँ वरना ये शो क्या है हम ही हम हैं तो हम क्या हैं तुम ही तुम हो तो तुम क्या हो तो चलिए जल्दी फोन कीजिएगा नहीं करना है बस एक शब्द लिख दीजिए वहां पे आज के लिए बहुत है अनिल अगली बार मिलेंगे और फिर मैं निकल नाइन सिक्स वन वन सेवन सिक्स फिटनेस बिटवीन द शीट्स आपके तजुर्बे क्या हैं उसमें आपकी फिटनेस कम थी ज्यादा थी उसकी फिटनेस कम थी ज्यादा थी आपके पहले नहीं थी और उसके बाद आपकी फिटनेस हो गई तो उसके बाद कैसा था आप अपने आप को कैसे देखने लगे आप अपने आप को कैसे महसूस करने लगे फिटनेस का बहुत महत्व महत्व है इसमें अगर आप फिट नहीं हो सकते तो आप प्यार कैसे निभाते मैं सिर्फ ये बिटवीन द शीट वाला प्यार की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं दिल वाले प्यार का दिल मेरा यहां नहीं है यहां पे दिल वाला प्यार की बात कर रहा हूं उस प्यार को निभाने के लिए भी फिटनेस की जरूरत पड़ती है अगर बॉडी फिट है तो रूह भी फिट होती है अगर रूह खुश है और प्यार रूह से होता है अगर रूह खुश है सोल कहते हैं ना रूह को सोल कहते हैं सोल तब ही प्यार को निभाया जा सकता है और जब रूह खुश है तो मन भी खुश है तो कहता है माइंड बॉडी एंड सोल फिटनेस का बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है रिश्तों को निभाने के लिए इस चीज को भूलना नहीं भले ही आप अपने लिए एक्सरसाइज कीजिए एक्चुअली अपने लिए ही करनी चाहिए जो भी व्यायाम हो जो भी आप दौड़ते हो या कलेस्तनिक्स करते हो या क्रॉसफिट करते हो या सिर्फ वॉकिंग करते हो या स्विमिंग करते हो कुछ भी या दंड बैठक करते हो वो भी ठीक पर अपनी जिंदगी में उस प्रैक्टिस को ले आइए और खास तौर के अब जो हम इस दौर से गुजर रहे हैं जो हम घर में बंद हैं मानसिक रूप से आप लोग तहस नहस हो जाते हो पर अगर फिट बॉडी हो तो माइंड भी एकदम तंदुरुस्त होता है और फलाद की तरह होता है और इस समय को आप बड़े आसानी से काट सकते हो क्या मैं गलत कह रहा हूं क्या आपने ये सब की है और अगर किया है महसूस किया है आइए आप अपनी कहानी हमें सुनाइए सुनाओगे नहीं सुनाओगे अच्छा बहुत हो गया मैं पूछ पूछ के तंग आ गया मैं सो लेते हैं हाँ अगले हफ्ते मिलते हैं अगर सब ठीक ठाक रहा तो मैं चलूं बस एक इशारा दे दो यार कि मैं चल सकता हूं क्या है ना कि आप लोग मालिक हो मैं आपकी सेवा में यहां आया हूं अगर मालिक मुझे विश्राम का ऑर्डर दे दे तो मैं चल पड़ू तो फॉलो कीजिए इस शो को अपने दोस्तों से बताइए बिटवीन द शीट का एक इंस्टाग्राम पेज यू नो हैंडल भी है वहां फॉलो कीजिए 
बिकॉज आहिस्ता आहिस्ता मैं शायद इंस्टा लाइव भी करने लगूँ लाइव भी नहीं लाइव ही करने लगूँ हो सकता है तो वहाँ ज़रूर आइए फॉलो कीजिए आपकी कहानियाँ मैं भी देखूँ आपकी ज़िंदगी में क्या क्या हो रहा है मुझे भी उसमें शरीक करना ठीक है मैं बाय बोलते बोलते चालीस मिनट निकाल भी सकता हूँ अच्छा शेरल वर्गीस नहीं मत जाओ ड्रामेबाज फोन करो फिर मैं नहीं जाऊंगा मैं अपने आप से बातें करने नहीं आया यहाँ पे इसलिए मैं समझता हूँ मैं गाना ही गाऊं क्योंकि गाने के टाइम में डिस्टरबेंस नहीं चाहिए ना कोई प्रेशर नहीं आप करो फोन ना करो मैं गाते जाऊं हाँ यार मैं भी थोड़ा हाउस कॉन्सर्ट देने लगू नेहा आई लव यू गुड नाइट अनिल टेक केयर टेक रेस्ट हाँ जी शब्बक है रात भर मैं भी सोऊंगा गुड नाइट थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी माई नेम इज अनिल फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम माई आईज आर थियरिंग अप मेरे ये खुशी के आंसू हैं आकृति खुशी के हैं वायलट Finally, I'm looking at people here I didn't know existed in this. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs>